Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys uh, something of a, a different video. Lots of new toys consistently coming out, a lot of stuff and talk about how expensive things are. Well, sometimes it's more fun to just kind of do it yourself in a way. So, I happened into Target. Now it is uh, getting to be that spooky season, right? First day of fall and all that, but... Uh, they were just putting out some new stuff. Wandered in, looking at all the shelves, and I'm a big fan of when you can apply Halloween or holiday decor to your action figure collection. And of course, what we have here today is uh, is no exception. And I'm surprised at how well it does actually go with some of my figures. So it's this really cool looking animatronic bat skeleton. Right? You got the try me button, right? You can do it in the store and test them out. You got the little instruction booklet right here. Sound activated bat skeleton. Animated and perfect for the spooky season. It's like I wrote that, right? Very well done and inside. So it takes three AAA batteries. It does come with batteries, but they're probably not going to last all too long. It's 15 bucks in the store. I don't really think that's bad a price. It's Halloween. I get it. A little bit of a markup, but then also it's got sounds and animatronic stuff, and I'll, I mean, I'll show you how it works. So it just slipped this rubber band piece right off its neck, and yeah, you got a really cool looking bat skeleton. Look, he's even got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Not really, just screw holes. But these are these types of toys, these things, you can call them toys loosely, decor. But he's got a nice wash to him, nice sculpt overall. He's very simplistic. He's not a very heavy toy. You want to go through maybe a couple, make sure you're getting a decent one. Test him out in the store. But on the back side, he's got a really cool bony tail right there. I thought for sure the legs moved at first, but no, they're just secure and they just kind of rock a little bit. But nothing that's going to make him fall over. You got the battery compartment with the on and off switch. When he's off, you can push the button right here, as you can see, turn him manually on and off. And when you switch it on, you make noise, you walk by, it turns on via the little speaker right here in his gut, right? So that's pretty cool. And I have to say that just overall, just how he looks is pretty cool, right? He's also kind of doing like that. I don't know. But let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly how this guy works. So I'll push the button right here on the back. Very simplistic. And yeah, he just, he comes to life. What I enjoy is... It's got creepy sound, right? Screeching, bats screeching. So, Batman fans might like this. The little arms, they just kind of rock to and fro. It's nothing crazy. The lights and the eyes are surprisingly bright, which is always nice to see. But it's just, it's very simplistic, but then also very effective. It's on the cheaper price end, and I just love the way to see it. So, I'm going to be going back to Target here and there throughout Halloween, of course, and see if they put any other cool stuff. And let me know down in the comments if you like these types of videos. Last year I did it with some Walmart skeletons. But overall, you can see right here, with the on and off switch, like I said, you put it to on, and he'll come back to life. I mean, you get the idea, right? Some screeching and bat sounds. We'll just kind of speed this up, right? Just to kind of get it going. But you simply go in front of it, snap, and this thing comes back to life. So it has two modes manual or automatic which is nice especially if you're gonna give it to a kiddo you know what i'm talking about they just push the button over and over which i was doing in target probably to the employees going like please get this guy out of our halloween section we just want to stock the shelves but again if you are interested he is part of the target hide and eek boutique but what i mainly bought him for was for my masterverse he-Man Origins collection, real Ghostbusters, make up a nice diorama on my shelf, yearly Halloween exhibit right in my front entryway, or you can go, like I said, Origins, Skeletor, Hordak, it's a pet, I don't know, you can figure it out, you get the idea, but you just push the button, and I love that this thing comes alive, Skeletor loves it, McFarlane, Batman, Spawn, things of that nature. Sure, to me, it's kind of stretching it eh, just a little bit, right, in terms of DC. But, you know, Batman did base himself off of bats, and you could probably bring it to life somehow, some way. So, that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Target. You can find him in Target store shelves, specifically. You might find him elsewhere, but Target's where I got him. Part of the Holiday Hide and Eek Boutique. And a $15 animatronic bat that lights up and screeches. Well, I wish all toys kind of had that kind of thing going on, if you catch my drift. So, let me know down in the comments what you think. If you 
you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Halloween decor. Maybe you found something in the store, whichever. Maybe I could find it. Talk about it, show it off, let me know. And uh, yeah, always nice to know about new things I hit in store. See, this is what I really like is like, it kind of goes with a bunch of different things. Heck, even Ninja Turtles. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you got Castle Grayskull, I mean, look how awesome this thing looks at the top, right? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.